Okay, so this is a uh, CEO Dreamland 2020. Now I just have to refresh. Okay, good. Uh, seating one and two, non-controversial. H Fox obviously. Uh, no Zane to possibly contest, but even then I'd still see H Fox one. Uh, Plop number two after summit, no contention. No one else. Uh, no one else of the top five is here. Like all the top five this year is here. Uh, Axe obviously kind of struggled at Genesis. Uh, definitely acts the next best. He's the only one who's been both active and has a good tournament to show. Uh, no one else so far does. Not to the level that like he had a good tournament. But top three seeding, pretty non contentious pretty non contentious in my opinion. Uh, four through six, I think is actually kind of interesting. So it's Muta King, Wizzy, Nun. Um, call me ridiculous. I think Nun should be seated over Wizzy almost for sure. Let's let's look at Wizzy's like past a little bit. I'm just curious. So Summit he got ninth. He lost to me. He lost to He didn't beat anyone at Summit, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he didn't beat anyone. <laughs> so Pretty sure he like didn't beat anyone, right? I'm if I'm not mistaken. He Beat Magi, lost to Fiction 3-0. And then in Pools, he lost to Axe. I'm still mad about the set. If he won, I would have played Hbox. Lost to me. Beat Ryo Beat. And he's won one Ryo Beat. Lost to Zane, lost to Leffen, and beat Bobby. None got to got Molly whopped by Zane. Uh, first set of the day. Beat got a got a buy. Beat me. Be oh almost beat Leffen wow or not almost beat took him to game five beat Spark already better than any win and beat Ryle beat and he made top eight of Genesis uh top forty GLX I I just don't think that that there is even an argument no none got ninth at uh this I think they got ninth right because he lost to Aziz and losers after he lost to Hbox yeah he got three by Aziz definitely getting fucked by Hex but I don't think there's any reason that none should be below them uh now. Muta King is interesting. Muta King's so weird right now. Like, hold on. This man is the most bizarre, like... This is the weirdest few months I've ever seen out of anyone. So, he comes back with a fucking crazy vengeance at Big House. Beats me. Beats uh, Hbox. Loses to Zane. Loses to Fiction. Gets fifth. Uh, almost wins EGLX. Great tournament. Then... Second at DreamHack, definitely kind of disappointing. And then a pretty bad Genesis for him. Um, yeah, I'd say overall there's no way that none should be seated over him. Even with the bad Genesis and the bad DreamHack, uh, none had a worse DreamHack because none, none got destroyed by face for that tournament, if I remember correctly. So I actually think this is pretty reasonable. I think it's exactly the way it should be. Uh, I think 5 should be none, 6 should be Wizzy. SUJ should still be 7th. Hasn't done anything crazy, and then... There's kind of a big fall off after that. Uh, will I see you at Dreamland? No, I didn't have a finances to get there. Sadly, Forest. Uh, are you going to this? You're not. You're not even going to this. You're not even registered. Uh, Magic ninth makes sense. Cobalt tenth. Calvar eleventh. Nothing crazy here. Slugs leaded like a top one hundred player. Uh. Did you play Pips with Summit? I did not, actually. You're going to go to Don't Stop? Interesting. Uh, Slogan with Super might seem weird to some of you, but he had a crazy Genesis. Uh, Momo, I would love for Momo to be active. But Corona making an A, yeah. I'm not really traveling right now at all. Maybe for Pound's like the only thing I'm going to risk it for uh, in the near future. Vu uh, got top 64 Genesis. Who did he beat? Fuck, he beat someone like Decent and Losers. Someone who had, like, a really good year otherwise, but a really bad Genesis. It's, like, a super weird year. Soon say, yeah, yeah, he beat Soon say Genesis. Uh, you're, you're right. Uh, Sinbad, really good Florida from uh, Jacksonville, number one there. Definitely someone who could make an upset. Sam and Layton, Flor or Puff from Tri-State. Right above the Puff from Florida. <laughs> Chef Rock. I played Chef Rock at CEL last year, and oh my god, I've never played against someone who... Who like the crowd? Crowd loved him as much as they loved Chef Rock. Never in my life have I seen anything like it. It was unbelievable. Do you think any chance Pound gets canceled? It's not impossible, but I don't really see it likely. 
Okay, so top 48 winners. Uh, that This is virtually zero chance of an upset. I don't even think I'm going to look at this. Uh, Magi, I know she was up 2-0 against Wizzy at Big House and then lost. And I don't know how she is versus Falcon otherwise. It's like the only point in my head that I have of like how good she is versus Falcon. Uh, so good point to have, but I also know Wizzy is kind of bad versus Falcon notoriously. Uh, he's gotten all, almost upset by a lot of Falcos. Uh, also by almost got upset by K-Pan a few years ago, but like every year he seems to almost lose to a Falco. She plays with Sima three one. Okay, so definitely definitely an upset that can happen. I think these two are very comparable skill wise though. So, uh, Muta King Slug. Crazier things have happened. Um, Muta King is pissed. I guarantee that he has to play a fucking Ice Climbers. Hopefully his Marth is like in practice. What's up? What's up, Counter? Wobbling's man. Oh, Wobbling's man. Okay, never mind. Mute King's fine. Oh, right. It's a World Tour event. Everything at the World Tour, Wobbling is banned. Right. We don't have to worry about Ice Climbers. Um, Wizzy versus Panda. Dude, I could see Panda doing that. I, Panda is like super consistent, hyper tech skill fox, and Wizzy's rusty as hell. Uh, that's like a bad recipe for Wizzy, in my opinion. You have to pay me so much to answer the question. Panda's hella good. Uh, I can actually read this. Panda's the guy who upset Axe at Genesis, for anyone who doesn't know. Definitely could happen. Uh, Plup versus Momo, I don't see that happening. Plup's so fucking good versus Falco. SJ versus Cobalt, that could happen. Cobalt, the one matchup he's always been like crazy good at, or two matchups, Icy's and Falcon. Uh, that could very well happen. Axe versus Swooper, I don't think there's a worse draw that <laughs> the Swooper could have gotten. It's a good matchup, he has no idea how to play. Uh... I, I, I'm sure, sure he's no idea how to play it, and Axe is apparently pretty good versus Pikachu, or uh, Samus. Uh, body plop Samus last year. None versus Calvar. Uh, None is so weird versus Marth. He's like either amazing or god awful. The super dropped out. Well, never mind. Is it uh, health related issues like coronavirus scare? Uh, None versus Calvar is so weird. Like, I could see, because Calvar is actually super tech chase heavy, which is kind of how I think it, from what I know, optimally is how, like, you punish Falcon. So, I could see, like, Punish Game being there, but, I mean, none's just, like, a borderline top 10 player. I, well, so, we'll see. We'll see. Calvar has got good wins. Like, he's been hacked before, but, whatever. He just said he was depressed. Well, hopefully he changes his mind. Nothing too crazy. Loser Slug versus Simbak be interesting. Magi Prof should be interesting. Crudo should be fine against Falco. Calvar late. This actually happens a lot. And it's very back and forth. This could definitely go either way. Uh, probably not going to happen anymore. I expect this to be a massacre. <coughs> um, and I could actually see weapons cheesing Momo. I'm not going to lie. But that's losers. You'll be there in Santa's Bob Speaker. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. I, I would love to see you more try to pop offs. Uh, Hungry Box versus Gatsu. I think Gatsu's taken one game lifetime. If I'm not mistaken, one game? I think I think that's about right. Uh, don't really see it happening, especially because Gatsu's have practice. Uh, Muta King, Lizzy. Oh. Interesting. Like, around the time when they were both kind of in shape, uh, Wizzy actually started doing really well versus Muta King. But now that they're both... If they're both rusty, I expect Muta King to kind of shit on him. Not gonna lie. I expect, like, Rusty Meat to King to bop Rusty Wizzy. Uh, at least, like, in my own head. Meat to King's playstyle doesn't need, like, as much precision in that matchup. Plup and SUJ, I just don't see happening. Especially now that Plup's, like, actually good again. Uh, and Axe and Nun. Crazy things have happened, but... <laughs> Axe is really good versus Falcon. And from what I hear, it actually might be one of Pikachu's best matchups. So, I don't really expect Nun to win there. Do you think you'd be Meat to King solidly right now? Um, I think if we play 10 sets, I win more than I lose. Magi versus Crudo. Um, I think Crudo's supposed to be good versus Falco, but I don't actually know. Uh, I feel like Magi would be fine, though. Magi's actually pretty decent. Iron Plus going to Luigi feels against Control Pits. God damn it. Uh, CEO is running something. I'll say that. That should give you all your information. Uh, Panda versus Slug. I want to... Oh, no wobbling. Panda's just going to shit on him. <laughs> I just see no wobbling. I'm like, oh, everyone's just going to get... All the ice is just going to lose. They, they lose. We'll see what the ice could do without wobbling. Cobalt versus Momo. Dude, does anyone remember this set? Hold on. 
Does anyone remember this set? This top eight set. This was, this was one of the craziest sets I've se I had ever seen. Like at the time. And then it had the worst ending of all time. Like I've never seen an ending. Like, watch this. He gets his he gets he gets his opening right. It's like oh my god, he, he might be Pokobol. And then he fucking forward airs off stage and dies. This was heartbreaking. Tragic. Actually, one of the most tragic endings I think I've ever seen. Um, Cole, historically, I think has had a pretty bad Falco problem. I remember the one time, like, when he was still, like, pretty good, he was losing to a lot of Falcos. Like, he came to Tri-State. He lost, like, the Asian one, and he lost to um, Delvey. And I, I'm sure you've never heard of either of them. I think Cole, when he's playing badly, can get washed. But when Cole's playing really well, he actually fucks, like, everyone up. <laughs> Cole playing well is one of the scariest things, but we'll see what happens. Both of them are kind of out of shape, so I think it'd actually be kind of fun set to watch. I don't expect Panda to beat SJ really. SJ is so good at the Fox matchup. Uh, Nun matchup, I actually would love to see that. I would. I think Nun's really good versus Falco, so I'm sure he'll win, but I really want to see that. Uh, Wizzy Cobalt. Cobalt actually is the reason... Cobalt almost knocked Wizzy out of CEO last year? Maybe it was off stream. I feel like I remember Cobalt almost knocking Wizzy out of CEO at this tournament. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I might be thinking of something else. But, um. I feel like I remember that happening. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that happened. Prime Wizzy upsets. Yeah, it's Prime Wizzy upsets season right now. He's super rusty. And the Gods vs. Calvar. I have no idea how Gatsu is versus Marth. Oh, uh, Gatsu is good versus Marth, actually. If I remember correctly. I think Gatsu is actually really good versus Marth, and I think about it. Beat Moon last year, beat Pew Pew, beat Zane at Big House the year before that. I think Gatsu is actually really good versus Marth, so Gatsu probably winning that. Uh, Hungry Box, Mewtwo King. I want to see it again. Uh, Mewtwo King was realistically one not flub away from being up 3 0 last year uh, at EGLX, and then rolled in last stock, which you never do. Uh. No idea what shape he's going to be in. No idea how good he's going to be, but we'll see. Uh, Plup versus Axe, we've seen a few times. Uh, usually Plup wins. I think she beats Pikachu pretty badly. Uh, pretty badly. I kind of expect... I can see Plup... Mut I would actually love to see Plup Mewtwo King winners and grands. I can, I can see and would like to see Mewtwo King Plup winners. I've, I wish, we haven't seen it in so long. It'd just be something super new and interesting. I'd be down with that. Realistically, HR is probably going to win. And I don't really mind that, but I think it'd be really cool to see Plop and Mewtwo King play. Even if they meet losers finals, I'd be down to watch it. Uh, Wizzy Gatsu. Gatsu, historically, I think owns Wizzy pretty badly, right? I'm not, I don't think I'm making that up. I'm pretty sure Gatsu, so okay, does really well versus Wizzy. And I think Wizzy's also pretty bad at the Falcon Ditto. So doesn't have his actual controller. I don't know if that's confirmed yet. Uh, SJ versus Nun. Nun, I think, has won, like, the last, like, three or four times, including, like, a reverse or two reverse 3 Uh Nun's apparently, like, godlike at that matchup. Uh, so I would actually expect Gatsu and Nun to win. Either way, I don't think either of these two guys are beating Mewtwo King right now. I think Nun's kind of struggling versus Sheik, at least at the moment. Uh, there's a period where he was, like, good at it, but now he's, like, not. And, like, last time he lost to Sheik, he was, like, it's, like, 80-20. It's unwinnable, which I don't think is actually true, but... I understand it's like probably as annoying as like when I talk about Fox Mars, so I can't really say anything. Um, but yeah, I don't see them beating uh, Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King Axe would be interesting. Either way, I think Axe would beat either of these people. Uh, Axe is really good versus Pikachu, or versus Falcon. Uh, that's a lot of Falcons, Jesus. <laughs> that's a lot of Falcon. Uh, Axe versus Mewtwo King. I want to see that. I Have we seen this recently? Did they play last year? I don't think they did, right? No. They didn't. That's what I thought. Haven't seen this in a really long time, but we'd love to see it again. Uh, Axe a little rusty, Mewtwo King a little rusty, so we'll see. 
I think Gordo will do. Gordo has an outside chance at top 16. An outside chance. He has to get a Falcon bracket. So if he makes an upset somewhere and gets the Falcons, I think he could be fun. I think his bracket otherwise is like not that great. He plays like H box early. So he has to make an upset in losers. He's not beating H box. Uh, Pluffers Axe. Again, same thing as earlier, same thing as earlier. Uh, HOX probably winning the tournament, but I could definitely see Mutual King Plup uh, winners and grands, which would be pretty interesting. Yes, I'm still planning on attending Pound. Uh, you asked about Crotto. So Crotto has to beat uh, Vu, which is probably fine. Uh, if he beats Vu, beats Magi, beats None. Yeah, I mean, he has, a, he has an outside chance at top eight. An outside chance if he plays really well. Got any tips for Double Fox as a team? Full hop back here and up tilt. <laughs> I think that Mute King deserved a lower rank, but is a better player than the rank showed. Deserved a lower rank is a better player than his rank showed, if that makes sense. Uh, interesting tournament. Pretty top heavy. There's like a really good top seven and then a pretty decent drop off, but because. Gatsu has, like, a weird matchup spread. He could actually still beat, like, a lot of the people in here. Like, I could see him beating any of the Falcons without a problem. Um, isn't Super that Samus? The Super. Yeah. He's a Samus from New Jersey. Getting real good. Getting real good. Got to win on Hacks earlier this year, actually. Uh, Scorpius 2020. If I'm not mistaken. Nobody knows about this tournament. Hacks had a fucking stinker. Hacks had a stinker. Like... Look at this bracket. Hacks started in losers. Yeah, he lost to the swooper after dropping a game to Plika. And Hacks dropped out of Dreamline. I mean, yeah. Like, health. I don't blame him at all. And then he lost to Tusain, which was a, that was a... So that was a stinker tournament for him. Uh, then he slots, though, at least. So it wasn't like a total bust. But yeah, that was, that was a bad tournament for him. Nobody knows about this. He also had an agency. He won the agency, though, where he lost to the random Mars, so that's actually fine. If you if you get upset, like, round two, but you win the tournament, I really don't care. Like, you won the tournament. It's also in the box. Uh, not enough information to have a foreign opinion other than I don't really care right now. Ups it has upsides and it has downsides. So, don't care. But, yeah. Uh, so, that's... Uh, see you, Dreamland. Should be a pretty interesting tournament. Uh, Hacks here would have made it a, pretty, a lot more interesting. Uh, sadly, a lot of people had to drop out just for health-related reasons, obviously. Coronavirus is kind of dicking the scene. Um, yeah. Expect Hbox to win. Could easily see Mutiking or Plup uh, winners and grands. And if that's the case, I probably expect Plup to win. Should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. Happens to 